A Cincinnati native trapped in a war-torn country over three dollars. The young mother tells Only Nine on Your Side she fears not just for her family, but for her husband and her newborn. Nine on Your Side's T.J. Parker is live right now with why a simple piece of information was so difficult to prove. T.J. Well, Craig and Carol, all Jane needed was proof from Coleraine High School that she attended school here, but that turned into a very complicated dispute, one that put her family's life in danger. Turkey is facing a serious uh, crisis uh, among themselves and, and with ISIS, so we need to get out as soon as possible. Jane Saljalolu is desperate to get her husband and eight-week-old daughter out of Istanbul, Turkey. My situation is extremely urgent. The longer I delay this process, the longer it takes us to, to get out of this country. Like I said, it's, it's, not, it's not a safe place to be. It's not a safe place for an eight-week-old baby. Jane and her husband have lived in the unstable country for almost a year. She's been trying for months to get back home to Cincinnati, but after her daughter was born, a snaggle in the system halted the process. In order for her newborn to get a passport, Jane needed to show proof she was a U.S. citizen. The consulate told her the best way to do that was to prove where she went to high school. That process turned out to be more complicated than expected. Typically, if, if I were in America, if I were in Ohio, if I were in Cincinnati, if I were in Hamilton County, I could go to the to the school board and pay the three dollars. But however, um, I'm six thousand miles away, and that's impossible. She says Northwest local school district told her through email in order to give her her transcript, they would need three dollars. Jane tried giving ideas on ways to electronically send the money, but said she didn't get any response, slowing down the process of getting home. I was shocked. I was startled and was completely disappointed. I can't, you know, bring my daughter back to America because I didn't have three dollars to pay for proof that I attended a public high school. After about a week of disputes over email, the district decided they still couldn't send the transcript, but agreed to send a letter on an official letterhead confirming Jane's time at the school, and that resolved the issue. Now we reached out to the district for comment, but have yet to hear back. As for Jane and her family, they're expected to be back in Cincinnati. In June. Reporting live, I'm TJ Parker, nine on your side. TJ, thank you. And Jane's story is a good reminder for anyone who travels abroad know what you need in order to get back into the U.S. In Jane's case, it's proof that you lived here, like having your high school transcript. If you have a visa, carry it with you. Don't check it in check, don't pack it in checked luggage. And remember that children need to have their own passports or documentation to get back in the U.S.